dear viewers welcome to this channel today i shall discuss about busbar differential protection through a small video please watch the video and subscribe to the channel more and more subjects of the discussion what is busbar protection a protection system by which bus bar in substation is protected from electrical fault is known as bus bar protection why bus bar protection is needed the main purpose of the bus bar arrangement is to increase the reliability of power supply bus bar is connected with more than one incoming and outgoing feeders so total impedance of the lines and the bus is very low then fault impedance is too low therefore bus bar is to carry high fault current during fault so protection of bus bar is needed how bus bar protection works the scheme of bus protection involves kirchhoff's current law which states that the total current entering an electrical node is exactly equal to the total current leaving the node hence the total current entering a bus through cities is equal to the total current leaving the bus through cities in normal conditions in abnormal conditions that is faulty conditions if the current entering through cities is not equal to current leaving the bus through cities then it will be treated as a bus fault where some current out of balance current is not passing through the intended path it is fault current under normal conditions sum of all current is zero during a fault the currents do not sum to zero in general the sum of measured currents is known as operating quantity and the operating quantity can be either physical or numerical the locations of the current transformer cities define the boundary of a differential protection zone In differential protection cities current transformers are oriented so that a line drawn from the polarity mark to the protected equipment passes through the city the opposite polarity convention can also be used if it is applied to all cities in the differential zone The figure here shows four cities that form a bus differential protection zone. If a bus fault is detected within this zone, all terminal circuit breakers within the differential zone will trip. This is achieved by the DC control scheme of bus bar protection. This is a single bus arrangement generally bus bar protection is not provided to single bus arrangement for simplicity of understanding bus bar protection is discussed on single bus here here one incoming feeder supplying load to feed three numbers of outgoing feeders if fault occurs on bus at point y or any point on bus zone it is called bus fault or fault within protected zone is also called bus fault due to this fault all circuit breaker of feeders connected to that bus will trip mandatorily one should think tripping of all circuit breaker are not necessarily required only Source feeder is required to trip, and on that case, 
no power will remain at the bus but feeders are interconnected with grids where more than one source of power may be connected together may involve with the bus fault which might lead to total disruption of the system if all feeders are not compelled to trip so protection from bus fault in electrical system is a mandatory especially for the large substation of double bus system where fault level is very high in case one bus goes to shut down due to fault occurrence another bus will remain active therefore total power block will not be happened suppose a fault is occurred at feeder number 2 at a point x outside of the protected zone a through fault the circuit breaker c will trip and another feeders will remain active normally but if the circuit breaker c does not trip then it will be regarded as bus fault due to fault on bus all circuit breakers connected with that bus are made to issue a mandatory trip after shortest time delay is known as lbb local breaker backup protection here two feeder bay 1 and 4 and two transformer bay 2 and 5 are connected to bus 1 and bus 2 respectively thus in this break arrangement two different bus bar protection are to be implemented to protect bus 1 and bus 2 the protection adopted to protect bus 1 is called the zone 1 bus bar protection and that meant for bus 2 is called zone 2 bus bar protection here if we carefully observe the bus bar arrangement we will notice that two ct cores are provided just after or before each circuit breaker each of the ct secondary cores is connected together in parallel and to the high impedance relay as shown the most common bus differential relays high impedance and low impedance relay used for bus differential protection a high impedance relay forms an operating quantity by connecting zone cities in parallel with resistive element a high impedance differential relay can be microprocessor based or electromechanical In high impedance applications all CT ratios should be 
द सेम बिकॉज द सेकेंडरी ऑपरेटिंग करेंट इज द फिजिकल समीशन ऑफ ऑल सिटी करेंट्स सिटीज करेंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स शुड हैव सिमिलर एक्साइटेशन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सो एज नॉट टू प्रोड्यूस ए फॉल्स ऑपरेटिंग करेंट फॉर ए गिवेन ऑपरेटिंग बॉड एंड वोल्टेज अंडर नॉर्मल कंडीशंस द साम ऑफ दिस सिटी करेंट्स इज जीरो and no current flows through the resistive element during bus fault the secondary operating current flows through the high impedance element resulting in a substantial voltage rise across the resistor the relay senses the voltage rise and issue a trip signal a metal oxide varistor mov is used to limit this voltage applied to the resistor to a tolerance level the differential zone boundaries are shown by different color for a fault on the bus one zone one becomes unbalanced and all breakers within the zone trip the behavior of a fault on the bus two is similar that is zone two become unbalanced for a fault between ct3 and 4 of the bus coupler breaker both zone 1 and zone 2 become unbalanced and all breakers strip the protection scheme for zone 1 and zone 2 are identical in all respect therefore for better understanding our focus will be on zone one bus bar protection these are selector switches when these are kept at in position contact number 1 and 2 become connected that is differential protection scheme will be kept in service two number selector switches are used for main zone protection and check zone protection
this is bus differential relay contact for main zone this is bus differential relay contact for check zone when both zone protection relay will operate and both contact will make then multi contact relay will operate to trip all circuit breakers connected with faulty bus this is a dc circuit diagram of bus differential protection scheme since bus bar protection leads to complete disconnection of connected feeders there is no scope of giving a chance of spurious actuation of the protection relay to avoid any spurious actuation two zones that is main zone and check zone scheme are implemented in each of the zone 1 for bus 1 and zone 2 for bus 2 using two different cores of same city the protection scheme is so done that bus bar protection is only actuated when both main and check zone relays are operated this is achieved by dc control scheme of bus bar protection These are LBB protection relay 50Z when operate through 86 stepping relay. The multi contact relay will operate to make a strip of all circuit breakers connected to that faulty bus through tipping relay 86. Thank you for watching this video.